Hey, what's going on guys? Thank y'all for tuning in to this quick video where basically we're going to be talking about the ceramic coating. We're going to do a full overview of everything that is actually enclosed within this type of, you know, detail, this type of package. You know, everything that actually gets done, you know, people really underestimate the amount of work and the amount of, you know, detail that goes into doing one of these jobs um, so we're gonna basically just do a full breakdown we'll offer some pricing at the end um, but first we just really want to show you guys what's all done within this uh, ceramic coating so let me introduce y'all you know to me first uh, my name is Nick Terry I'm one of the owners over here at Cajun Suds Auto Detailing LLC uh, I also own this business with a friend of mine uh, his name is Dakota Gary, and then we have two employees as well. So um, a little bit about of us, you know, we've been in the industry for about three years now. We focus on paint correction and protection. Um, we have a shop located out of here in Lafayette off of Gloria Switch. So it's a little bit mixture between Karen Crow and Lafayette. Um, we have full enclosed garage bay and office. Um, you know, we do all this as professionally as possible for four-man team. So let's just cut all that out and let's go just straight into this whole overview and breakdown. Um, try to keep this video short and just right into what you guys came here for. So a quick recap on what ceramic coating is for those people who may have not heard about it yet. Just saw this and like, hey, I'm interested. I want to see how I got my how to get my vehicle that shiny, that clean. Um, ceramic coating offers you know a wide variety of protection for your vehicle so it offers weather protection scuff and marring resistance so it's twice as hard as your clear coat and you know it, it offers more protection versus your clear coat from scratching and soil marks um, it, it's not scratch proof but offers more protection than say your clear coat so it'll be harder to scratch it'll be harder to you know get swirl marks in the paint um, therefore it's going to offer better resistance than your clear coat so it's a barrier against water damage corrosion oxidation uv rays and offers some incredible gloss and shine during the duration of the ceramic coating you'll enjoy less maintenance and the pleasure of not having to wax your vehicle anymore also the interior Interior gets a little bit of love, which of an interior coating that repels liquids and offers minimal aging and fading during the duration of the coating. So what is the process of the coating? It's definitely not something simple that you can just pull up, spray onto your vehicle and roll out. You know, it's definitely not like a quick wax or something like that. It's definitely very detailed. Um, it could really be broken down into two main areas. You have your prep and your application. You're gonna spend about 80% of the time actually on the prep versus the application. Um, but the application def definitely does take some experience. If not, you can you know coat your vehicle, have some high tops, and have to wet sand your paint to try to get the high tops off if you're not careful enough, which can cost you a lot if you do not know what you're doing. Um, so the prep consists of basically washing the vehicle, decontaminating it, paint correction, and just miscellaneous detailing to perfect the vehicle as, po as best as possible before applicating coating um, the coating it's you know for the paint itself we do three coats on the paint offer a five-year guarantee um, interior exterior glass and wheels all get one coating one coat um, but interior offers one year of protection exterior glass offers a year of protection and the wheels offer two years of protection on the wheels um, again about 80 percent of the time the vehicle is spent with us we're gonna be doing solid just prep and getting the vehicle looking right so let's break down these prep stages and what exactly all goes into prepping the vehicle before application of the coating. So step one um, is just your basic washing and cleansing of all exterior services. Uh, right here we have pretty much just one of our uh, Lamborghini we did uh, our full ceramic coating protection package on. Um, it's just a foam wash right here. Uh, just nothing too extravagant or crazy uh, but basically just a good foam wash we cleaned all the wheels and stuff use a brush wash clean everything up uh, make it look as best as possible as clean as possible from removing loose dirt dust and debris that's on the vehicle um, after we do that we do a decontamination stage which actually involves two different things the first one is iron decontamination or we spray a liquid um, an iron remover on the vehicle wheels paint glass pretty much everything full coat on the vehicle um, and removes any iron deposits that's whipped in the paint um, also you know a lot of high-end vehicles with a lot of brake dust this also helps remove any brake dust that's on the vehicle also embedded on the wheels 
After we do that, we pretty much brush wash the whole vehicle off and then do a clay bar decontamination, which is any debris that's stuck into the paint, uh, such, such as like tar, um, that, you know, it doesn't get removed with just a regular wash with a microfiber mitt. Uh, this basically smoothens out the paint. Um, also, if you have any overspray on the vehicle, maybe if you're working a very, um, you know, down here in Louisiana, there's a lot of oil field, you know, spray facilities and stuff like that, spraying on like um, the uh, ceramic spray or like carbon spray um, and get stuck on the vehicles and stuff and it's very bad. So, you know, having to remove it or say like a spray can, spray paint, you know, we deal with a lot of vehicles with overspray on it uh, from paint and uh, <laughs> it definitely is a pain to remove with the clay bar, but it's just one of the necessities to make sure the paint is as slick as possible before going on to the next stage. So after we finish all that um, the washing, decontamination, this is kind of like step 2.5 where we just dry the vehicle, we blow out water out of all the cracks and crevices and make it as dry as possible uh, before moving on to the next stage, which is paint correction. Now, paint correction is basically the removing of swirl marks and, you know, polishing out any imperfections within the paint so swirl marks scratches watermarks oxidation um it, it's very you know in the detailing world people just call it paint correction but uh it can be very misread and misinterpreted uh to people who outside of the detailing world just because i mean it's paint correction so people think you know hey if i have some rock chips in my vehicle you better fill them in but it's actually a complete opposite you know we don't add any paint to the vehicle uh we can only fix what's on there what's already on the vehicle so um, some scratches and imperfections may be too severe to remove so we don't guarantee it 100 percent out uh, just because you know certain vehicles are different um, but about a you're expecting about a 90 to 100 percent 90 to 100 percent difference within the paint after a full uh, paint correction properly done uh, so this is where we spend about 60 percent of the time just on paint correcting and polishing out the vehicle in fact here you can actually see a big difference you know between scratch um, heavily swirled up um, this is with a forward mustang we did you can see on this left side right here where the lights hitting it you can see the swirl marks and then on the right side right here everything is clean um, you know polished out correctly so it's just a 50 50 shot i'm gonna show you guys a few more um, before we have to tape up you know before we actually start on the paint correction we have to tape up everything you know cracks crevices plastics um, so that way we don't get polished and liquids everywhere and make even more of a mess for us uh, while you know prepping the vehicle for ceramic coating so but here's a few 50 50 shots um, I don't know why I actually should have swapped these around but this was actually after right here but this was before this was a red Mustang that was in the shop um, you can see before right here just full of swirl marks they had a few heavy scratches in this paint as well um, and you can see after right here everything polished out and pretty much flawless this was um, this was actually the Lamborghini uh, we did you can see <laughs> full of swirl marks um, you know very bad this was very severe we had to do about three stage polish on this uh, definitely took a lot of time I mean you can see the after right here so and this this vehicle is a 2017 straight from you know the lot that should be flawless paint and this is also another big misconception we get uh, with you know any vehicle that oh hey my vehicle is brand new I shouldn't have any problems at all which is actually very opposite there's a lot of vehicles we get straight from the factory uh, straight from the lot that's full of swirl marks and I mean I've, I've passed up lots before where people are outside washing the vehicles in the lot with like blue brushes or you know hard brushes on this paint and it's just destroying it so um, some people don't care but you know reality is once you do this to your vehicle it offers a huge difference and an amazing uh, gloss and shine that way when you have to apply the ceramic coating to it after it keeps it up and it just keeps your vehicle looking amazing here's um here's a picture of actually of two of our guys uh, polishing the paint um, this is during the first stage of the compound stage uh, I mean nothing really too much to say here few of our polishing pads polishers and everything is actually kind of an older picture but um, just a few of the tools we use, a variety of the tools we use to, you know, clear all the imperfections out of the paint. Um, this is one of the vehicles we did, a Camaro. I think this was a 2016 Camaro. I was in for a full, you know, paint correction, coating, all the good stuff onto the vehicle. 
So after we do the whole paint correction process, we're gonna wash the vehicle yet again just to remove any residue that the um, polish and compounds we use to take out the imperfections in the paint. Um, we have to wash the vehicle yet again to take, you know, also remove any dust and stuff uh, to make sure it's flawless. And that's one thing that's really key with the prep is to constantly keep going back over yourself um, and making sure the vehicle is flawless as possible before application and that coating. So in step four, basically this is after we wash it, dry it off, we pull it back in and we just do any other miscellaneous detailing. Um, a lot of the time, you know, we'll do like interior while doing the paint correction. I don't really cover interior too much because that's, that's not a huge thing. Um, but, you know, this is also where we like check over the interior after we do all the paint correction. Uh, we'll also do any like, you know, miscellaneous things. So maybe if we need to maybe touch up the front grill, do a little bit more polishing on the front grill, like a lot of chrome a lot of vehicles, so a lot of trucks we do has the chrome grill. So we'll have to like do some metal polishing. Um, also like running boards and stuff. So it's mostly like trucks and big SUVs. We have to do that. Most cars is like all paint. So literally after we finish polishing, we can wash it and practically coat it. So. So next thing after we do the whole paint correction, all of that, um, you know, we're already looking in around 30, 20 to 30 hours worth of work just in that. So now it's actually time to apply the coating, which just really is actually the, um, you know, the less the time, the less time is spent on the actual application of coating. It doesn't take as much time. Um, you know, we're looking around 20, 30 hours per vehicle on the prep stage, and then probably another five to 10 hours on the actual application of the coating. So um, we have four areas of coating application. You know, you have your exterior glass, your interior, your wheels, and your paint. So this is about four different areas we have to cater to. We always start off, um, or let me rephrase that. Uh, we use eight different coatings. Uh, so each coating provides a certain for is specific for a certain material. So as you can see from left to right, we have our crystal serum light, which is our base coating for the paint. We apply one one layer of this coating onto the paint, and then we apply two coatings of EXO to the paint. So on the paint, it's getting three layers of coating to offer that five-year guarantee to the paint. Um, C5, which is the next coating over, is our two-year wheel coating that we apply. Um, C4, it's just a trim coating or trim and plastic coating goes on all plastics and trim. Um, sometimes we even do an engine bay, which is really rare. That's something, you know, it's just by request of owner. Next thing we got is our dash and like interior plastic coating. Um, leather guard, which goes on any leather on the vehicle. Um, also, and this is kind of out of order, but our G5, which is our uh, exterior glass coating, goes on all of the glass on the exterior of the vehicle. And then um, the smart fabric, which is our basically anything that's fabric. So if you have like a convertible top, if you have wheel wells with carpet, and as well as all fabric on the interior of the vehicle. This is basically everything we need to cater to the whole vehicle and make sure each material has its own specific coating because different materials bond differently. So if you have one coating that is all, I'm very skeptical about that. And we actually used to use a coating that was like one fits all. And we're very skeptical about that because different surfaces need different chemical bonds. And, you know, I, I kind of like this G-Technic system where each, you know, each material has its own specific application. So coding longevity, you know, just about how long you're expecting each thing. Um, we offer a guarantee for five years on the paint, two years on the wheels, one year on the glass, and one year on the interior. Um, if you look at it, you know, the paint doesn't go through as much of abuse as, say, your wheels with hot brakes always on it. Um, you know, very brake dust is very acidic and destroys <laughs> wheels, so it has a lot more to endure. Um, glass, I mean, really, it's just your windshield that you see that sees the most damage. Your, you know, side glass and everything really doesn't last a lot longer. But, you know, we have to kind of warranty everything together. So, your glass, you're looking about one year. And the the thing is with glass, the front glass at least, is the more you use your windshield wipers, that's more friction, which rubs off the coating. And you know, that's why we can only offer it up to a year of warranty behind it because after that, you know, unless you don't use your windshield wipers and everything, you're gonna see a lot longer. Um, but that's the biggest fact with that. 
interior, you're constantly getting in and out of your vehicle. You're constantly throwing stuff in your interior vehicle. And that's that's for everyone. I mean, that's not for everyone. You know, we, we try to – everything's based off at most extreme. Um, so when we say one year for the interior, we're picturing someone who's – constantly using their vehicle every single day who has kids who's constantly spilling stuff in their vehicle who's throwing all kinds of like bags and groceries and maybe soccer gear football gear work gear tools stuff all that like throughout the vehicle really just you know causing a lot of rubbing and you know stuff that causes friction and rub against the vehicle um, or the interior which can rub away the coating so um, that's why we only guarantee it for one year obviously if you use your vehicle maybe on the weekends it's your weekend fun car. You don't really have kids. You don't really throw anything in it. It's going to last a lot longer. But this is all based off extreme conditions. So let's jump right into it. You know, we start off with application on the wheels first. Um, just because, you know, we try to go from the least, the most the stuff that if we're doing, um, if it's in a dirty the vehicle, you know, we try to start off like the wheels first because there's a higher chance we can dirty the vehicle when taking it off and, you know, maybe kind of cleaning out the wheel well. So uh, pull the wheels off, you know, we coat the calipers too. This is a Carvette we pulled off. Um, I'll actually show you though. This is, these are wheels are actually from an F250 though. I didn't really have any good shots from the, um, the Carvette, but this truck uh, we also took the wheels off too as an f-250 and just really shows you allows us how it allows us to get to the back side of the wheels which offers a huge <laughs> a much better advantage where we can pull them off polish them and clean them up and then apply a full coating to them so that way they're perfected like this and all you got to do is come back and take like a pressure washer and blow them out um, to keep them looking fantastic Here's the pretty much the final once we put the wheel back on um, and as well as we put like an undercarriage, you know, not really undercarriage, but just kind of like on the wheel well itself, just a little bit of a, you know, spray to dress everything up, keep everything looking clean. I don't really have too many, you know, pictures for interior. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty easy to apply and stuff um, for the interior, just different variables, uh, stuff to apply to different coat, um, different materials on the interior of the vehicle. I mean, you have leather plastics fabrics vinyls various stuff on the interior uh, that can be applied to it this is just like i said a final shot with a detailed and coated interior it doesn't really you know it's not that you can clean it doesn't really adding the coating to it it's not like as as if we came there and took a vehicle that was full of swirl marks and scratches completely polished the paint then applied it then it's just like wow so interior it just basically looks clean that's it there's nothing too crazy on the interior Next thing is our glass application. I mean, same thing for the glass. It's not much of a day night difference once application. Um, it's really is when you're actually driving it and noticing it on your vehicle uh, is where you're going to see the you know impact of how well it works. So the exterior, um, this is your paint painted surface on the exterior of the vehicle um, again we start off with one coat of crystal serum light by geotechnic and then we go over with two coats of exo to ensure that five-year guarantee on your paint um, this right here is actually an older coating we did we don't use but just kind of shows just you know how it's not like a spray or anything like that some people think it's like you know we have to pull it in a paint booth and put on a new clear coat it's not that at all but again, you know, if, if you're inexperienced, you can cause a lot of damage to your paint. You can miss a spot, you know, not wipe a spot off and have to come there and get space someone to wet sand it off or, you know, it'll look bad on your vehicle. And you have to pay someone to wet sand it off, compound polish, everything. And then you're going to be looking at spending almost the same amount of money if you have got it professionally applied. So um, this is just showing, I mean, again, this is coding right here. We don't use anymore, but it's just some old pictures I had kind of show y'all how we do it. Um, all coatings are applied the same way. Um, also, I didn't really have any pictures or anything like that of like the plastics and other parts on the exterior, but we all take care of that as well. Um, you know, we average around 30, 40 man hours of work at the end and here's just pretty much a few vehicles we've done I can kind of explain a little bit more um, this f-250 right here it came to us with pretty much flawless paint besides the doors all four doors were destroyed by a dog um, and he had to charge you know, we had to charge him a few hundred dollars more 
but we had to completely wet sand down the doors, compound polish, and everything. So we had to do about a four-step paint correction. I mean, just the doors took about 20 hours uh, for one person. Uh, it just paint correction so it is this this job right here is very intensive i know some people are like oh you know half of the truck you don't even have to do well a lot of the truck this is actually a little bit more uh just to the amount of work we had to put into perfecting those doors but it received pretty much everything um interiors fully cleaned up coated um exterior you know the three layers of coating on it and you know wheels tires everything like that so here is a mercedes it was a CLA AMG. I'm not too sure an exact specific, um, you know, which CLA it is. This vehicle came to us pretty much from the factory. I think it had like 900 miles on it to 2018, and it was full of heavy swirl marks and scratches directly from the factory uh, that they, you know, caused prior to giving it to us. And we had to pretty much spend a few days just polishing up the paint, getting it looking perfect, um, and we applied the full coating to the vehicle. 2018 again this is the best time to do it's right when it's off the lot um but it, you know it kind of busts that myth oh i have a brand new vehicle it's perfect paint you don't have to worry about it that's not true at all here's our 2018 expedition we did again pretty much the same thing except this one is a rare one where it did have pretty much flawless paint I think we did some polishing on the windows too to take out some watermarks in it. But this one is actually one of the rare ones that did come to us pretty much flawless. Here is a, I want to say a 2012, maybe 2013 F250. And um, just had some heavy swirl marks in the paint, watermarks, a few deep scratches. And we did pretty much everything to it. Um, or a lot, you know, this one actually just got the coating on the paint, um, which was the one layer of crystal serum light and two layers of exo to ensure that five-year guarantee here is a blue mustang 5.0 um, this one came to us with some heavy soil marks as you can see it just reflecting in the sun looking flawless um, i think it's just a huge you know not really accomplishment but it just makes you feel good once you pull it on the pulled it out into the sun and just how flawless it looks um, we apply the crystal serum light um, this one was just another paint one where we put it just to the paint where we did a layer of crystal serum light and two layers of exo again to ensure that five years um, here is a carvet c7 and again pretty much the same thing um, layer of exo oh we actually did the wheels too on this one we have to take the wheels off and apply the two-year wheel coating so this one had the um, you know the five-year coating on the exterior and the two-year coating on the wheels so guys that's pretty much everything you know kind of like a full overview of this ceramic coating as you can see it's definitely a lot of work i mean you're looking around 30 to 40 hours um you know three to four days really it's you know 34 hours total of work um shop work and it takes about three to four days out of shop to complete you know um it's definitely something that's not just can be done within a few hours you know you drop your vehicle off and you pick it up it's definitely something that takes time to do and uh you know to ensure the quality we deliver behind every vehicle we do so let's jump right into all the pricing everything logistics and stuff um so this type of work starts around 1500 to 2300 um i can't it's kind of hard to give just an accurate quote based off you know it's a one size fits all definitely not true uh, the vehicle size color condition of paint all play a factor in overall pricing so you know if you bring us maybe a let's say a Carvette um, I'm just trying to think of a coupe type vehicle like I say a Mustang um, brand new off the lot and everything it's black but it's full of heavy swirl marks and scratches and stuff which is definitely not which is definitely possible even though it just came off the lot um, you know, you can be looking to paint and you want wheels done, interior glass and everything. You'd be looking to pay in, you know, more around that $1,800 mark. But, you know, if you're, if you have a maybe 2018, like that expedition we did, uh, it's flawless. 
and you bring it to us, you know, we, we see we can do it in like a one step, one stage paint correction to it. it doesn't take us long. Um, you know, you can be looking at paint around 1500. So, you know, the color is huge. In most dark and black vehicles, uh, we have to do a lot extra on the polishing and stuff to ensure quality as the paint's a lot softer. So we have to do a few extra stages versus a vehicle that's really light, like a white or you can polish it a lot quicker. But again, if it's a lot, if it's heavy scratches in the white, then you have to still add those extra steps. So, you know, it's a lot of mixture of, you know, it's really hard to just say one price and fits all. So, um, again, not all new vehicles are swirl and scratch free. It takes about three to four days to complete, complete the job. Um, we're located out of Lafayette. We need about two to three week schedule. You know, you need to give us a call about two to three weeks in advance of when you would like to get it done. Um, that's just to ensure that's about our average book up time. We book about three, three weeks in advance. So usually we can slide you somewhere around that two to three week mark. If you're ready to schedule, please send us an email at Cajun Suds Auto Detailing at gmail.com or give us a call at 337-565-2925. Two two five again. That's three three seven five six five nine two two five. Uh, we'll be happy to assist you with any questions you may have, and anything that may strike your interest around this ceramic job. I mean, obviously, I think I pretty much explained everything, but I still might have a few questions, and I'll be eager to answer any of those for you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope this answered any questions you have around ceramic coating. My name is Nick Terrio. Again, I'm one of the owners over here at Cajun Suds Auto Detailing. And I hope I was able to explain everything right for you. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.